Hello, my name's Paul Darby. I'm the Feng Shui Doctor. This is my book that's just out, The Energizing Art of Feng Shui. Um, tips for every room, practical tips. Not daft things, but things you can do pretty well straight away and costing very little. You can also get more advice on my uh, website. There you go. And my book's also on uh, Audible. So we're talking about feng shui, natural flowing energies, vibrations. Quantum physics has proved that everything is vibrational energy. We know that from our music. That's vibrational energy. We'll listen to the vibrations, good vibrations, and it can change our mood. And it's the same with the subtle energies that everything contains, the feng shui flowing natural energies that are inside us and everywhere around us. So what we're going to do in this series of videos is look at every room and quick things you can do to help tune the energies that are flowing around every room of your house and in the garden. Now your living room should be living that's the important word so the energy should be slightly up you should be tuning it so you can feel the zing feel the energy flowing around the room now you should find your compass location of each room and it explains in my book how to do that but as a quick guide go by the sun so if you get sun in your living room during the morning then you're probably um, good to have yellow. Yellow is a good energy colour for a living room that has sun in its through its windows in the morning. If your living room has sun in the afternoon, then you're better with more earthy colours like toffees, fudges, coffee, biscuit colours, gingerbread colours, that sort of colour. But the morning sun, the bright sun in the morning, you're better with yellows or touches of red, even touches of purple. And if you, if the sun comes into your living room in the morning, your fire could do with encouraging. If you've got a wall with a fire on it, a gas fire, electric fire, natural fire, log burner, then encouraging it by putting images of fire around it, reds, yellows, purples, pictures of poppies, sunflowers, abstract pictures with reds and yellows in it if you get the sun in the afternoon in your living room then you're better squashing the fire because it'll be too too zingy so you need to squash it a bit and the best way to put fire out is to use water so use water imagery uh, a mirror with a metal frame above your fire picture of a waterfall um, metal ornaments if it's shiny then it represents water so stainless steel brass copper rounded and shiny around the fire to squash the water down a bit so sun in the morning encourage yellows sun in the afternoon more earthy more stable colors like toffees and fudges enjoy putting life into your living room all good things See you soon. Bye now.